I've been working on a card game about bugs. Hi, I'm Michael, and I normally publish video essays on this channel, but for the last six months, the game that I've been working on has kind of turned into something that, for better or worse, I've been convinced might actually be a good game, might actually be a game worth trying to sell to people. So. I'm gonna to try to do this weekly designer diary so that you can chart the progress from what the game is now, which is essentially this 70 some odd card deck with pieces of paper printed out with pictures of beetles and numbers on them into something I could get funded through Kickstarter with a pretty box with nice art and a price tag that people would be willing to pay to play a two player 45 minute bug fighting game. I mean, in reality, I've been making games a long time. It's just that I never really sensed that any of these games were good enough to publish. About 10 years ago, I self-printed this game called Overcoat, where you and another player are spies trying to ascertain each other's identity. Uh, a little bit after that, I made this game Nightmares, where, if I remember correctly, I think the two players are controlling monsters or bad dreams, and you're competing over giving a child a nightmare? I should say, though, that the project is not without obstacles. Maybe the obstacle I'm most insecure about is that the game is not super original. It's a lane battler, popularized recently by Marvel Snap and games like Air, Land, and Sea, which I encountered first, and Rift Force. All these games I really love, and I suppose that's probably why I made a game that looks a lot like them. Now, I think it's different enough to warrant a share of the market, but still. That's something I'm gonna have to work around. Also, I wanna take this game to Kickstarter and Kickstarter is super intimidating to me. Somehow between now and launch, I'm gonna to have to figure out stuff like overseas shipping logistics, a marketing strategy, and all kinds of business accounting stuff that I am just not good at. And the last obstacle is probably time. I'm in a good position because I'm a teacher and this is my summer break, but also I'm a stay at home dad and the kids aren't going away to summer camp all summer. So I'll really be with them most of the time, but shooting this now and working on the game when I can usually happens during nap times and when they go to bed and if they're in the floor playing with Legos or something. So not impossible, but still something I'm gonna have to work with. Uh, a lot of days recently have seen me just play test the game over and over and over, take notes after it gets played, take a lot of comments and feedback from what I'm hearing from the people helping me play test, printing off a bunch of new cards with some balance changes and new ideas that I have, and then cutting them out here and then sleeving them so that I can make adjustments really quickly. So next week, I hope to give a more in-depth overview of how the game actually plays. I'll also be reaching out to Alan, an artist that I've got on the hook for the project so far. I care a lot about how this thing looks, so I'm going to be talking to him about inspirations I have for the art style and about what direction we're going to go in to draw all these different bugs. I should also say, I don't really know what to cover in this designer diary thing, so Please, if you have any questions about the process or want to see any part of the process in particular, please drop that question in the comment section below. Thanks for coming along for the journey, and uh, I'll see you next week.